What's up guys, it's Mr. Jamvid and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server for another one, another hot one. Uh, where did I get JD, JD, cool. that brings back memories. But um, yeah, so today we're going to be featuring a Kiram team. Um, I just, I'm doing a team building thing right now as far as like, you know, I have a ton of teams um, that are in the works. And so expect a lot of team building with Jam videos coming out because in the next week or so the how to master competitive pokemon video series will end so you guys got about damn near a month worth of those so every no complaints and i have so much to share as far as excuse me um you know people pming me about how the book has positively impacted them i've just been busy and my head had not been in mines for a couple of days so you know i get them and i'm like you know <sighs> You know, I'm doing some good out here, man. Let me, let me. So that definitely helps. Shout outs to uh, Mad Van or Madavin, uh, however you pronounce your name. Um, he definitely impacted me choosing to really take that leap back and start uploading again. But yeah, um, I'm deciding to use Curum before people are like, it's getting banned, it's getting banned. But I, I only played the day the mods came on the server. Like, literally, like they just came on the server. So I really haven't explored the metagame fully. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, <clears throat> we'll just get the Curum live in. Uh, if it sticks around long enough, then I'll do a team builder, an actual team builder around it. But for us, for the rest of the teams that I'm going to be using, I likely have a team builder podcast. Well, I have a big podcast that I just put out. So go check that out when me and Joey discussed everything. I put that out. Um, and I'll just have, um, team builder live, team builder live, team builder live kind of deal. So all that being said, um, Zerora is phenomenal in this game after bulk. The bulk. Um, Kurum is Rati Fodder. Um, my Kurum, if it's on a work club, it doesn't really matter. Now, does it? Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I can see Kurum staying all you, but we'll see. I, I think that about everything. Um, Keldeo Fodder. Um, uh, in fact. Uh, it's almost impossible not to leave Keldeo. Uh, it's not. It's far from impossible not to leave Keldeo. Uh, primarily because here, I mean, you you could anticipate Clef or you could anticipate Aegislash. Slash. Um, I'm unsure of my opponent's level of skills, so there's no way I'm gonna predict that and go for Fusion Bolt. Um, I'm gonna hold on to Jirachi Scarf because I'm pretty weak to uh, Curum. Um, but as I'm looking at this, I'm pretty weak to. Clef as well. Uh, hmm. All right, so let's take this by one step at a time, especially if he's rocks. So he goes to um. So that gives me an important knowledge on my opponent's level of skill because you wouldn't actually combine there wasn't a bad play. If yeah, combining there wasn't a bad play. Two reasons. If that could that this that could mean two things. That could mean my opponent is really good, or he doesn't think. Um, luckily I didn't get burnt there it could mean two, two things you know um, because what him going for I have to iron head here even though I'm confident he's gonna switch there's no point in predicting there and if he did if I u-turn and he said I'd lose too many Pokemon where I could just force him out I'm still at enough health to where I can come in and iron head cure him um, and Ferrothorn just took a bit of damage he must be some item because he he didn't um, didn't get leftovers. Uh, so that's zero aura range. I think well, Clef is in zero aura range. Um, Ferrothorn is actually quite annoying. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go hard Keldeo. I'm somewhat forced to. Uh, I could be Chapel. It could be Chapel. Um, hmm. I do believe he's going to choose to stay in. Uh, no, he goes hard cliff. Okay, I get a crit there. Um, hmm. again, quite weak to this. But yeah, the the reason combine was good is if I was life orb or hydro pump, I think he'd be able to take the hydro pump and the hit after life orb. Um, but if I wasn't, then he'd be just he'd just be in a good spot. I think I'll have to go for the W before he gets a chance to. But I don't have enough information. Um. And right now, his Clefable is really hard for me to deal with. A very, very hard for me to deal with. Um, 
especially if he goes for Roos here. Um, I mean, it's soft boil here. So we're going to surf to, in case he attacks, hopefully attacks or commas. Yes, okay. That's phenomenal because now I can just Secret Sword freely. Now, Keldeo is a massive problem to him, but not the value exchange here. Keldeo is far less problematic for what a play i can't tell if he just outplayed me as far as like because that was a really like well, actually we'll see depending on what his agent slash set is because obviously shadow sneak's gonna come out there and the, the reason this matters is if he is not king shield then that was a poor play because their aura is gonna be a problem once it bulks up it's over it is over so yeah like if he stayed in there he's likely just uh, um, a generic age of slash um swords dances again i it's hard to say whether he's like putting deep thought into these turns um because right there you guard you like i i think my opponent just is okay never mind <laughs> i don't know anymore like some of the plays he's making is like okay it could have some long-term effect if I don't know, man. Um, so, yeah, we'll sack Keldeo here. Uh, what it does is... Oh, interesting. -y. Okay, so positionally, the fact that he sacked his Keldeo... I mean, his Aegis Slash is phenomenal. Now, is there an aura? Now you're going to see why that should not have been a thing. Um, Plasma Fist. I'll CC again. On the off chance, he tries to pivot around. He seems like the type. Nah, doesn't pivot around. All right, so at this point, I'd, you know, definitely Seismato is the weakest link. I don't foresee myself being able to bulk up. Um, and I didn't assess how problematic Conk would be, like, at this point. Now, the good side is Mandibuzz serves no other purpose but to be, say, like, if just say his guts, we're going to do the, oh, he's Drain Punch. He's not CC. I don't like because now he can but it's fine um we'll take the damage get the oh wow he did a lot of fucking damage man um I did not expect him to do that how did he do so fucking much with the say oh guts right I'm like jeez and I'm super deaf okay so this in and of itself is a problem um I'm trying to think what my end game would be because I'm gonna have to give up Zero Aura. Ferrothorn would be ones everything except uh, I might not be able to win this because defensively Ferrothorn is just really good. Uh Kurum can do it versus the other two. I'll I'll have to see. I'll have to see. Uh I might be able to. I think it'll just come down to how many. Um, one, if Zero can take a mock punch, and two, because he's gonna mock punch here. I uh, maybe just position things well to where, because I'm actually very weak to Con Kelder. Like I don't have a fighting resist. Wow. Um, so it's gonna come down to if Zero can take this hit. If I can. Um, okay, so he goes hard, Pharaoh. Which might end up working out for me, depending on what he does after this. Because I'm going to get the Ferrothorn. Mm. Uh, it just depends on if he has Gyro Ball. So if he, if he doesn't have Gyro Ball, uh, my best play is to not knock out Ferrothorn. And to not knock out Ferrothorn and... Um, to Dragon Dance to cure him. Um, hmm. Dragon Dance to cure him and then Icicle Spear. So I'd knock off DD. Because if I kill this, he goes back to Conk and then Mock Punches. So I think I have to double down on the odds of that being the case. Or. Hmm. There's another route. So I'll knock off here to get the damage I need for Ice Go Crash. Um, Citrus Berry, perfect. So he had an item. He shows Power Whip, right? So what I'm going to do is go to Jirachi here. I'm going to bait him to try to not lock himself into something to knock me out. 
that is not gyro ball as he thunder waves ah that is not what i wanted to see um hmm Mm, that is not what I wanted to see. Ah, uh, that is not good. Uh, I'll I'll U-turn. Um, uh, Thunder Wave locks. Damn. Um, that is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> because now, hmm. I did it twice. Mm. So I'm going to Healing Wish here. Get my Curum up. Uh, I'm going to get two Dragon Dances, which should neutralize my speed. But then I'm going to be playing around with Hex, right? Um, he has to switch here. Or he might not. Um, but he's going to neutralize my speed. So it's a speed tie at best with his Curum. Um... So speed type best, unless he's scarfed, which I don't think he is. Please, please, Kieran, please. Okay, he was life orb, right, right. Please, 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 please. All right. But um, because he won that speed tie, now I can't win because Con Killer is going to be knocking me out with Mach Punch. So they're definitely right there was the moment I needed to win. Like the if I won the speed tie there, then Con couldn't knock me out with Mach here. I mean, obviously, I'd have to go through Para. Um, the, the alternative was if Ferrothorn had locked itself into something that was not Thunder Wave. Um, but yeah, he's won with Con Killer. So I, you know, I'm not going to change the team. It's not my team. Um, we'll just have to play around the fact that we don't have a, um, a fighting resist. Uh, which is just horrible. The meta, I love how the metagame just looks different. We can't, like, <laughs> we got the Swords of Justice and I have a fighting resistless team. Um, yeah, let's fuck it. Fuck it. We'll outplay. Um, because mm. I easily could have just looked at the team before I use it, so it's my fault, without a doubt. Uh, this looks like damn near mono grass. Jerome DDs, and it's just a wrap. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, so let's set it up step by step then. Um, I know it's like Keldew, you let Keldew, and he has a. I'm gonna secret, so I don't know if Custap is out. Uh, I'm gonna secret sword into. Because I'm expecting this to be lead um, hazards, and I don't wanna get it to any Custap range um, of any sort. So, uh, again, it's trying to set up with Kyurem. The hazards don't matter for Kyurem. Uh, don't know what Meltan does, but it probably doesn't do much. Probably has. Um, there's the Vrezion, the Sword of Justice. As, uh. What can Vrezion do? Grass move CC. Right, doubles to Meltan. Was he predicting Jirachi? I mean, even if he was, it's not a good play. What's this gonna do? <laughs> Matter of fact, let me U turn out. Um, I have a size of this is not coming in on anything but Meltan. Um, so let's get these bands up. That way, uh, hmm. Let's see what Celebi has to offer. So we'll foul play hard. I uh, maybe he's just not the type to think. Yeah, it doesn't. I didn't even know Celebi got leaf. All oh, right, it's. I mean, I still didn't know it got leaf blade. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna U-turn out here. Um, I actually should have not U-turned in the sense of Mandibuzz actually has a lot of merit still. Uh, that was just a rash play. I think I'm getting impatient because I, I don't think this is a serious game. But the opponent almost says, I don't know, whatever. So we'll bulk up here, uh, mill ten, and I think after another bulk up, that should be a, a done deal. Substitute, huh? So plasma fist can't miss, right? So if he uses a normal move, well, he does, but. Oh, Zero, I put him in the dirt. So yeah, Zero is legit. I think this. I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure he just threw some mods together. But I think, just like seeing the mods, the meta game looks so different. Um, and this is gonna be so different with all the man. I can't wait to revolutionize this shit. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> scarf explosion. 
I'm surprised I tanked. Well, I'm plus one, so. Does this have Shadow Sneak? Sucker Punch. Well, there it goes. I've lost. Alright, so. We just go, um. Cure him here, fire off the spears. Bang. Wow. Wow. One spear. He probably can't even knock me out with, um, CC. Yeah, Kiram is fat. He is fat. That is crazy, man. So we, we finally won a game. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, look at Ostagoon chilling, boy. Mad chilling. Um, oh, yeah, Tox Space. Did we lose to that? Uh, does he have a fighting type? He has a Keldeo, so sack every time Keldeo comes in. But not my awareness to his heightened. Um, he's very weak to Zero Aura. So if I find out what his scarf is, I gotta just bulk up and just. Oh. Um, in fact, rocks plus Zero Aura is unguardable. Even without the bulk up, the straight life orb, unguardable. Um, Keldeo's core purpose in this one is gonna be to win. Um, Kurum's core purpose is gonna also be to win once. He's probably Scarf Dragapult. Once Ferrothorn is dead. Um, Jirachi, Seismitoad. It's just gonna be that water immunity, baby. Um, don't guard well against Ostagoon at all. I don't guard well against Diggersby at all. Um, and Toxic is very difficult to kill. So, all that being said, I'm gonna have to probably beat this guy before he tries to get an opportunity to beat me, style of game. And for that. Um, I didn't expect him to lead Obstagoon. Um, doesn't really matter. In fact, I wouldn't be, I'd be open to losing my item here if he chooses to knock. Yeah, because I don't want my life orb in this game. Um, hmm. Didn't expect him to lead Obstagoon because I was going to leave Zero Aura there. For some he's that weak too. I expected, uh, interesting. Maybe he's like, scarfed. What is what is this? Why don't I not see an item? Um, so Tox Specs likely the rarest ugly head here. So it's a matter of okay, well, what am I trying to accumulate? What am I trying to set up for? And I'm trying to build up to an end game where um, again Zero Aura can put in because I've identified what my assets are. Um, so there are two things: Tox Specs because he could be toxic. If he's toxic spice, then then that means he's likely not toxic, which means Kurum doesn't care, but Zero Aura does. But it also means that Seismato likely cannot be touched by Toxapex. So what he's going to likely try to do is go to Ferrothorn here. If I can burn this, because um, Mandibuzz is going to get rid of the hatch. I'm not letting T-Spike stay up. Not for Zero Aura. And now that i found that Seismitoal Walls. Um, so we're going to really repeat this process a bit more. I, I wish I had knock on this Mandibuzz. Um, I, in fact, I'm actually not going to do that. As he doubles to Obstagoon, Likely anticipating my Amanda Buzz. Um, hmm. Or perhaps he's trying to force the. Um, force the. No, he knocks again. Oh, he's leftovers. That's odd. Okay, so now he's definitely gonna. Okay, since he's leftovers then. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, obviously, I don't want. See, change the next one. Okay, then I gotta be a little more aggressive since he has the upper hand. Um, either hand is a upper hand. Shout out to Jersey. Uh, so obstructs again. Just, just a solid play. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Cool. And yeah, we'll secret. Nah. There's no, very little downside to go on mana, but see, I, I, I'm gonna put knockoff on this. I know I said I wouldn't change anything. Uh, maybe there are things in the game right now that I should be wary of that foul play helps. Um, but I'm just the, the bulkier teams, by bulkier minds that Mandibuzz learns in, um, I really struggle with. So, um, like right here, I'd love to remove this Toxapex item. Um, but I'm I'm gonna play a little more long term, even if he manages to burn me. I'll still go with your switch. 
Yeah, I knew you wouldn't obstruct there because you're expecting Kel to come in. So you're likely gonna go for something stab. Um, but if you're leftovers, you can't even you can knock off. But heavy duty boost doesn't really matter versus my Amanda Buzz. So at this point, um, I get to defog. Uh, oh, okay, my bad. I don't get to defog. I don't know if obstruct is foul playable. Let's learn today. It is. But I, it seems like, yeah, it seems like he only has knockoff, which is good as Jirachi can rinse and repeat. Um, I mean, you can obstruct all day. Oscar is still going down. I wonder what his other move is. I don't know what obstacle and learn. This is this is interesting. Look at the metagame already involving. Um, taunt. Again, if you're only knock. I was gonna go with Jirachi. Double back there. Um parting shot. Okay, that's fine by me. That's a very interesting set. Okay, finally I get my Jirachi in. Uh, so we're gonna give this thing his item, my item. Well, he's definitely not gonna allow me to get it now. So he's likely gonna go show me whatever his scarfer is, or he's gonna go to something that's. Uh, so we're gonna go to Manda Buzz here. Okay, so that's your scarfer. That's either your scarfer. That's what you don't want me to give items to. So this is a perfect position. Hmm. Or maybe that's just something you don't mind me giving a choice scarf to. Okay. Which means it's going to be tough to defog like I want to. Because uh, obviously he's going to go for the secret sword here. And it's defog. He's playing well to keep off, to keep up the T spikes. So I'm guessing he understands the value of it. Uh, but Kelly there was just an all around good play. So it's hard to say yet. I still have um, several wing cons because I've gotten the. Op I've gotten the uh, information I need. I just need Fair Throne a bit lower than what it's at. And then um, I can DD Kurum versus <clears throat> can DD versus Obstagoon just based on his set. Well, I'd rather I'd rather DD versus Pex. Um, have him try to skull burn and whatnot. Uh, Obstagoon isn't ideal because he can parting shots. However, Kurum just in and of itself right now is looking real menacing. So, um, uh, Keldio, since you're this variant, I actually don't mind giving you a scarf. But I do at the same time since I can't defog, right? So this is tough. If I give him my scarf, then Mandibus can come in and he's just chilling. Or I could play this a different way where I let Zero run free and then double down on Jirachi. So got a problem, gotta solve it. Okay. Which means, eh, can I go about it a different way? Yeah, I'll U-turn here. Ah, right, perfect. Um, the reason I U-turn instead of hard switching there. So here, I mean, so I'm, this is where I'm gonna have to start getting aggressive. Um, hmm, I doubt he's. Hmm. I was thinking I doubt he's. Um, I want to CC here. He's not made bad plays thus far. He's made some solid plays. Um, okay, so he gives Asagoon. That's a good mid ground. Um, that's a good mid ground. Because I would have. Um, I wanted to actually go for knockoff there. Because it covered Ferrothorn and Dragapult. Depending on the one he wanted to pivot to. And knocking off Ferrothorn's item would be a big deal. Um, as he goes to it right now. Um, not odd, but odd at the same time. So I'm going to take this opportunity to defog as he doubles out. Um, but yeah, this is just the same situation. Uh, I'm going to knock off here because I'm confident he's going to go to Ferrothorn. So that damage is integral. And he seems to be trying to prioritize keeping the hazards off the field. Um, but I finally got him. I finally got you, bro. So the T-spikes are gone, which is a big deal. He needs those. You need those. I don't mind if you keep rocks up, but you're not having your T-spikes, cousin. Uh, so he's stealth rock spamming. Okay. Okay. We're chilling. We're chilling. 
Defog here. I think he's gonna switch here. Protects. I think he's gonna switch here. Yeah, got you, kid. Um, it's less about mandibles at this point. Um, if it spikes Dragapult, I can deal with that because of the speed tier thing. Um, but now this Keldeo cannot just go around doing whatever it so chooses. Uh, for two reasons, two big reasons. Because I'm pretty sure he's gonna just attack me here. Um, uh, so I'm actually. I'm thinking about the long term of it since he has taunt. Um, since he has taunt. So, what we can do is a uh, mid ground into Keldeo where it's a speed tie at best, a speed tie at worst, whatever, best worst. Um, perhaps Secret Sword would have knocked my mana buzz out of that range. I doubt it. Um, but perhaps, perhaps so. Because what I'm starting to realize is how big of a problem Seismitoad in and of itself is to him. So I'm actually going to go to my Jirachi here and fire off a trick, right? As he goes to Ferrothorn, um, which is phenomenal. Two reasons. Um, I get to U-turn out here. The reason I want to kill Dio tricked at this point is like, well, Seismitoad is a massive problem to him. But Ferrothorn is also a problem to me. And Ferrothorn was one of the few things that could stop my Seismitoad definitely. Um, so he's probably gonna lead sheet here because it just guarantees him some value out of the turn um, But what this is not good for him is that allows me to roost right and I Mean he's gonna try to fire off T spikes once again and and this might be the opportunity I've been waiting for as far as cure him So let me think this through Jirachi's now rocking. What did I get from the Ferrothorn? No, I, I knocked the Adam off. So Ferrothorn has Choice Scarf. Uh, which means, okay. So T Spice coming out here. No surprise, no surprise. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go. I'm going to up the aggression a bit. So he goes to Keldia. That's actually phenomenal. Um, that's actually phenomenal. Well, it depends on what he does. Depends on what he does. Um, I know he'll never risk me going for for toxic yeah so he likely right so he likely calm mind here but I think because I'm gonna have to sack something anyway um, I could go hard zero aura but zero is too important especially if it's not choice guard dragapult the moment I healing wish after the damage on ferrothorn then it's the game so I need to but it also, I also see another potential outcome, especially if he gets to combine here for free. So if I hard switch, what's my out? If I stay in, what's my out? Um, because I could go hard zero over here, and then double switch out. If I stay in, Earth Power spam. I'm gonna be doing like twenty five percent. 25% if I get rid of Keldeo, what does that mean for the remainder? Um, I Gotta go with the aggro play if he secret stores here kudos, but I knew he'd calm mind and now I know he's gonna switch Back into Ferrothorn in order to get that advantage now if he doesn't switch I can come back to zero aura and come back in and do it all again however Actually, is it better to close combat here? This close combat guarantees me value. Gets the damage on Ferrath when I need. And that's probably Curum range. Yeah, I'm gonna actually stay in and CC here. So he makes a good mid ground in Toxapex. Um probably just confident that okay, well if he goes to Tox if he goes to um what's it called? Then I guarantee you win. Um Okay. So I'll get Seismitoad normal poisoned here. Um uh, still end gaming towards Curum. Or at that point, maybe he's like, well, um, Toxapex has the lowest subjective value. Uh, if he doubles out to Curums, it's okay, he just, nah, that, was, that was fine. Um, so this is an important uh, Pokemon to be able to hit because I think at this point, unless it's Agility or something like that, uh, this point, 
rocks. I'm like, should I scald the rocks? Nah, scald's more important. Especially if he goes to um, Ferrothorn. So he'll never he'll never go for power with here. He won't never power with lock. But if he does, because the, the diggers be might be scarfed. Um, I'm just weary of scarf dragapult. So I'm gonna earth power here. I knew he was gonna double just but his play style. Um, really, I should toxic here. He'll never taunt. Um, but earth power two two earth powers should do the trick. Two earth powers should do the trick. It does not do the trick. So I should have toxic first, because I knew he was gonna do this. Um, so I have to stay in with because they're always gonna have to force this out and blah blah blah. But now it's low enough to where it doesn't matter. Um I'm trying to think who's less important. I think Seismitoad might be a healing wish mine. Dragapult is scarfed could become problematic. It's a tough game, man. It's a tough game. Just just because of Dragapult. Just because of Dragapult. I don't have any information on him. Um Alright, let's sack Mandy. We're gonna double down on uh okay, so Plasma Fist is my best play here. Um <clears throat> all round. I think I can healing with Seismitoad back. I'll play with the one T spike up because I think Seismitoad forces in the Ferrothorn. Um, Ferrothorn has to lock itself in the power whip. Kyurem comes in, gets the DD for free, and nothing on his team can really knock out my Kyurem. So the Plasma Fist, he had to take it. He had to take it. And this is where things get interesting, right? Because um, if it'll just depend, it'll just depend. Um, this might have even been a misplay in and of itself. Uh, depending on what his toxic effects is, it's probably gonna have haze, yeah. But it just depends on what then what his drag pult is. So if his drag pult is like orb or something, yeah, maybe I should have kept Manda Buzz just in case it's like non traditional drag pult. So if it's like sub, like if it's like sub fucking something then I'm in trouble here. So it's Wisp. So I'm in trouble anyway. Mm. It's Earth Power. Subhex. So he only has Wisp to hit me, which means he's slower than me. Which means I Dragon Dance here. Um, Because I don't think whatever I have will knock him out. My problem with the Dragon Dance play is that yeah, like he's bulky enough to take me on so then we're looking at we're staring at I might be able to pull this off depending on what his Jirachi has depending on what his Jirachi has I'm gonna have to outplay the shit out of him the next coming turns um so we're gonna Icicle Spear here I'm um, it's clear he's, he should go to Ferrothorn here I should get the bit of chip I need I'm expecting him to double switch here actually um but even if he doesn't I just need the chip to where when I Dragon Dance next time so at least she's anticipating. Okay, cool. All right, so this is where things are gonna get interesting because I'm gonna healing wish, and now he has to make a decision. Does he give my Curum free DD? Um, for the sake of which I mean, it can't stop. So now, like Icicle Spear, literally picks up KOs whenever something comes in. Um, it's just a matter of this Ferrothorn has he has Gyro Ball. So he's gonna switch out, switch back in Jara Ball. So I have to Icicle Spear here because I need I need a lot of hits on the Ferrothorn. Um because <laughs> he's gonna come in and try to Jara Ball me, obviously. And I don't want to be too boosted, yeah. So he ends up I didn't end up getting two hits, but he ends up knocking me out anyway. So very, very well, very well played. Um Actually, this is kinda long. So she said. Uh Hmm. Cause I have limited time this morning, so I don't want to do too long a live because I have a lot of vids to record. So yeah, we're gonna end it there. Different meta game for sure. You boys gonna have to brush up. I like Zerora. I like um Kiram's alright. That's what I'm like, you know. I though I don't think this team did it the most justice. Um it's still like uh I, I it's very it's very manageable. It's just knowing what's in the metagame, so 
we'll see. We'll see. I'm surprised I didn't see any male medals. But yeah. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, is there anything I'm forgetting? Oh yeah. If you do web design, if you know how to do websites, hit me up on Discord. Looking to develop an academy website. So um, yeah. Just hit me up if you're good with that and you want to help out. Just as a favor. Or a, just a kind act. So yeah. Peace.